after what uh, I'm sure was a long night for a lot of you, uh, and needless to say, it was for me, uh, I can tell you that, you know, some election nights are more fun than others. And yesterday's vote confirmed what I've heard from folks all across America. People are frustrated. They're deeply frustrated with the pace of our economic recovery and the opportunities uh, that they hope for their children and their grandchildren. They want jobs to come back faster. They want paychecks to go further. And they want the ability to give their children the same chances and opportunities as they've had in life. Over the last two years, we've made progress. But clearly, too many Americans haven't felt that progress yet. I'm from a place where niggas don't know where they next meal coming from. To the rich folks, they call it the slums, where niggas stand around all day just trying to cope. And we voted for Obama cause he sold us hope. But right after the election, we was back selling dope. We knew the nigga left us hanging with our necks in the rope. All on TV with his family just to earn our affection. Just another fucking way for him to win the election. And ever since he took office, the hood's in recession. Excuse me. The word I should've used is depression. Cause we in a depressed state of mind. In these depressed ass times. Every day being oppressed in these cities filled with crime. And everybody's dying, I ain't lying. That's the truth, homes. The men are in prison. The kids are sent to group homes. And that's the way it is in this land. Of democracy, the rich are getting richer, the poor is made a mockery. Representative Waters, we did some research at the CBS Evening News this last week into unemployment for African Americans, and we found that the percentage of African Americans who are unemployed or who are forced to work part time because they can't find a full time job is nearly 25%. It's an astounding number. Now we started out subtle just to occupy Wall Street You gon' look up and we gon' occupy y'all street And we coming to the suburbs, parking whips on the curb So call the police so they can protect and serve You and your family as you lie in fear And when you call them, tell them to have they riot gear Cause we not going out quiet, here's time to make some noise We going out with a bang cause you leave us no choice The bank is repoing our cars and foreclosing our homes Same jobs we had for years, a nigga Blink and they gone So our kids can go to college And get a high education We all stuck in the hood And can't afford a vacation And the tension's rising Cause unemployment money's not there And the president is playing class warfare It's only two classes left Rich or poor Now tell me who the fuck niggas riding for Now I admit I had some high hopes When I cast that ballot I've been through seven administrations Thought the last was valid But it's a sham God damn can I get what I feel deserved Without conforming to the doctrines of the Bilderbergs And if I get killed for words, then I made a martyr But a bullet is worth the price for a better life for my daughters I know he don't walk on water, didn't rise from the dead But do he represent you or not, or the RC and not instead They got a bailout, my sis on the corner will have her tell out My brothers tried, some of them died, some in the jailhouse They manipulate the price of oil, gas, and food Overpriced a college degree to keep it out of grass for you And what you are asked to do is support these Truth, while they invade a sovereign land and start a man then loot And that's the truth, what's even worse, most of us all can see it So God won't bless America or y'all houses eat With all this shit going on, the preacher tell you to have faith in your faith While you somewhere hungry, he somewhere eating steak He takes the pulpit and he's half baked He tell you before you leave the house of God, put something in the plate Because the rent's due and the lack need new vogues and the first lady and the kids need new clothes That's what you get for being a misguided 85er Read the book for yourself and be a straight survivor Others rat race, they all try to play on you They say you wrong if you don't do what they say to do Now I'm not talking about each and every man of God Just the ones who's living their life Totally fraud, leading people down the wrong path The only thing I say to that, get knowledge yourself and learn the math and focus your third eye and the world will be full blown and the rest of this life won't feel like the unknown. I think that there is no doubt that people's number one concern is the economy. Uh, and what they were expressing great frustration about is the fact that we haven't made enough progress on the economy. We've stabilized the economy, we've got job growth in the private sectors, but people all across America aren't feeling that progress. 
They don't see it. Uh, and they understand that I'm the President of the United States and that my core responsibility is making sure that we've got an economy that's growing, a middle class that feels secure, uh, the jobs are being created. Uh, and so uh, I think I've got to take direct responsibility for the fact that uh, we have not made as much progress as we need to make.